Greetings guys, this is Dograf and today I am driving the Valentine AT, the tier 3 British Tank Destroyer. Guys, I've been putting up a lot of content with high tiers lately, so I decided to drop down a few tiers. And here we have the Valentine AT. This guys is a very special tank destroyer because it has a decent amount of armor on the hull, but it has a gun shield and a ammo rack shield on the side which have no armor at all. The hull in particular has 60 millimeters of armor which gives it a very nice armor profile so whenever you are engaging this tank never ever shoot at the hull. Always shoot at its yeah, gun shield. As you can see I am driving on Prokhorovka and in these low tier games there's always some people who drive over this ridge as you can see there are not a lot of good players here i'm the best player matched by xvm but as you can see there's always a few people who are sitting in the open and you can shoot that so Enemy armor is damaged. i take a few blind shots but then i see at the map on my left that there's a t82 spotted so i take a few blind shots quickly And then I see the T-82 taking a shot, misses, another shot, misses, and then I see that he's been spotted, but I think that the, T the D-2 and the T-82 can take him. So I'm start working over these guys on the ridge again. And there's a locust trying to kill our artillery, so to defend him of course. He's driving, so leading shots are not very easy. And your shot has to go straight as well. Ooh, that skin this turret. But there we go, he's been dragged. Unfortunately, he kills our artillery. We put a few good shots into him. But then, as you can see, I get spotted. I immediately drive around to avoid all the shots until I'm unspotted. But then I realize, hey, I'm unspotted. So I use these bushes to hide my tank. But then I think, if I start to shoot on this position, I will certainly get spotted, so then I think, I will pull back. I'm unspotted now, so I have to search for cover now, not when I am spotted. So as you can see, I'm driving backwards towards that little bump back there, like here. That's a good place in my opinion, you can hide most of your tank and then only show your gun shield. Which is pretty hard to aim from such a big distance on, so. Now I've got some cover between me and the enemy. This should be a better engagement. But <laughs> I've already done 500 damage. Oh, and I have to highlight something else as well. This is not the derp gun on the Valentine AT. I choose this gun. I prefer this gun because it has a better rate of fire. As you can see it has an alpha damage of 75 and a penetration of 110 good rate of fire so I choose to mount this gun and not the derp gun because if you miss a shot on the derp gun it can be devastating for your game and in this with this gun you can actually make your shots count it also doesn't really matter if you miss a few shots because you've got another one in just a few seconds Enemy hit. fortunately we hit his tracks Destroyed. But we hit him good there. See, and immediately I am scrambling for cover again. Artillery just missed me. Luckily. Driving around a bit to avoid more artillery fire. But it seems like that was it. No idea why the other sextant is not aimed at me. Okay, now. It is 10-10. It is 10-10. I've got to do something now. I can't hang back here. The D2 is going up here. As you can see on the map, the D2 is already advancing towards the enemy base. So I think, okay, I can't let him go on his own. He will die if he goes on his own. So I have to support him. I will go after him to support him. T82 is staying at base still. He's really low on health. So... 
I don't know what is standing back there, but most of you guys who have driven on Prokhorovka will know there's always some enemies camping back here in this spot. So that's why I decided to support him. T82 is finally following us. And now I am driving next to and through the bushes here to hide my approach. I'm using these bushes to get spotted as late as, as possible. Would there be some enemy tanks back there? But this T82 is not being very smart. He drives down all the trees so that the artillery has a clear eye of sight where one of our tanks might be. So, still advancing though, I have to keep going. But then I see the D2 is spotted and a Valentine IT on the other side of the map. And I have to think, God, how am I going to support that guy as well? I think by myself, I can't. But I have to get in a position where I can get as most support off as I can. So I decide to go at this position. I can shoot everywhere here. I can shoot into the enemy base. I can shoot into my own base. And I can support my team. Would there be some dangerous tanks down there? But I do have to think about the artillery still. Because there's two sextants still in the game. And one of them has just below average stats. But I am pretty much concerned about him. Because he, he's got the same stats when I played. So I have to be careful. I think I put a few blind shots in. And I was trying to preserve, yeah. Reverse against to avoid artillery. But then I saw that it was one of the sections spotted and I wanted to kill him as quickly as I can. I think a few blind shots, but then I realized, damn, he's moved forward instead of backwards. So I'm trying to put in some shots, but it seems like he has got himself covered behind the house. Gotcha. Doesn't matter, he's dead. 12-12 and I've got one of the artillery out of the game they've got a D2 left and a Valentine and a sec yeah and a Valentine AT and a Sexton 2 I'm expecting one of the enemies crossing the rail next to their base so I am staying near them and then unfortunately the D2 gets taken out, but I can see who did it. I have to make these shots count because this is a really dangerous tank and I have to kill as quickly as I can. We've damaged them. Boom, headshot. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Immediately pulled back if I might have been spotted to avoid enemy fire. Especially from the sexton. Well now, what I'm thinking. The D2 has lost been spotted on the other side of the map, so I think that he is going towards our base using the hill but then the enemy section gets spotted and now he does something really stupid he drives forward so that I can see his tank enemy and his and it shots off this is really dangerous enemy vehicle destroyed unfortunately he misses me for him then it's not unfortunate for me the artillery could have ended my life there and then was a really dangerous situation but the sexton was not being smart driving forward to make his tank visible for me well now what I'm thinking I'm thinking still the D2 is going towards my base on the other side of the map driving down the 8 or the 0 line so I'm thinking I'm going to this side of the hill to avoid his fire would I get spotted I thought I was going to meet him at the other side of the rail, but I was very much wrong. He bounces once, I miss once, he misses once, Enemy armor is I hit once, he bounces, Enemy and I take him. Destroyed. Really nice game, I carried my team for standing alone against yeah, three enemy tanks, but I was a little bit late to the party every time because this thing doesn't have the best ability. But okay, it was a great game. Let's take a look at the post-game stats. Guys, although we carried that game, this unfortunately wasn't a mastery badge in the Valentine AT. It was only a first class medal, but we did over 1,100 damage as we did hit a few of our blind shots. As well as picking up a high caliber medal and tank sniper and 
Master Gunner, I think it is. Yeah, it's Master Gunner. It was a really good battle for me. It showed me that Tier 3 can be a lot of fun still. It is a lot of fun to play and I haven't played Tank Destroyers for a while, so it's really nice to play this tank and have such a good game in this tank. Well guys, that was it for this video. Hope you like to see me playing in the Valentine AT. I thought, let's do something different this time, this week. So guys, that was it. Hope you liked it. And I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.